Good evening, class. Tonight we're going to be talking about qualitative and quantitative observations. A qualitative observation is anything that you can make with one of your five senses. So it's anything that you can taste, touch, smell, hear, or feel. So when Annie came into the room today, I saw that she had a red shirt on. That was a qualitative observation I made with my sense of sight. So Chase, can you give us a qualitative observation of something that you can feel? Sure, I can feel the hair on the back of my arm. Awesome, you can feel the hair on your arm. So Braxton, can you give me a qualitative observation of something that you can hear? I can hear the air conditioning running. Perfect, you can hear the air conditioning running through the room. Annie, can you give me a qualitative observation of something that you tasted earlier today? Um, I had chicken for dinner. Perfect, you had chicken for dinner. I tasted chicken. That's what I had <laughs> as well. Okay, so into the realm of science, scientists use qualitative observations to determine what's actually in a reaction. So when they're running an experiment or they're in the field in some way, they use all of their senses to make qualitative observations about what is actually going on. So moving to quantitative observations, quantitative observations can't be made with one of your five senses. It, you need an instrument like a ruler, a scale, a thermometer to make quantitative observations. So like earlier today, or actually in this room right now, I can see that there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pairs of shoes. That's a quantitative observation I made, or eight shoes, not eight pairs of shoes, sorry. That's a quantitative observation I made by counting. So Annie, can you tell me another quantitative observation that's happened? There are five chairs in a row. Perfect. So Braxton, can you tell me of a quantitative observation that doesn't involve you just counting? Um, my shoes are 12.9 inches long. Perfect. You, so I guess you measured your shoes before you came to class today and they're 12.9 inches tall. So Chase, what's another quantitative observation? I weigh 150 pounds. Perfect. You weigh 150 pounds. Those are all quantitative observations that you guys made. So Annie, can you just boil down a definition? How, your definition of quantitative observation, maybe using like three words. You can write on the board so we can all see. Sure. And then Chase, can you give us two or three words for how you think of qualitative? Perfect. Something that you can measure. Does everyone agree with your definition? I yes. do. And then Braxton, while Chase is writing on the board, would you mind telling us how you keep these two, these two words separate? Because they sound a little similar. Yeah, so sometimes I get qualitative and quantitative confused. But then I remember that to like know the quality of something, you kind of have to take a good look at it or like touch it. So if I want to know the quality of a shirt, I have to touch it and make sure the fabric is nice and soft. And by touching it, I'm making a qualitative observation to decide the quality of the shirt. Perfect. I love how you related it to your real life so you can remember it more easily. Can you come up here and help me with the cheer that we learned earlier? Okay. Thank you. Instruments and numbers tell me how tall. 